The race against the clock is on for Chinbro crews and subs who are working hard to finish constructing the new Capitol Wheel at National Harbor, just south of Washington, D.C. The Peterson companies own the 175-foot-tall observation wheel, and they are hoping to begin taking passengers aboard the attraction at the very start of the 2014 tourist season. So far, all systems are go for a May launch. One big milestone reached by the team in recent weeks, installing the 42 gondolas that will hold eight passengers each for an unprecedented view of Washington's monumental skyline. So after the legs are up, we install the axle, which is basically the hub, just like a bicycle. And we have, they're called the spokes. Those are all hung from that axle, so you know, very similar to a bicycle wheel. You hang a spoke from the top, you rotate the wheel, you hang another, and they all connect together. So over the period of a few days, the wheel started having some uh, very interesting shapes to it until you get to the point where the whole thing's built. So uh, once the spokes were installed, the ring beams went in along with that, and then the lights, and now the gondolas. It becomes hard sometimes. You need to do five things at once, but you can't because everybody can't be in the same area. So we have to be very careful on what's the most important task for that day. And we just tackle them one at a time, and that's how we got to where we're at. When Chinbro began to install the gondolas, the process attracted numerous media outlets from the nation's capital, as has been the case during the entire project. The press has had to be vigilant as the construction has moved quickly from the day that the first barge load of parts showed up at National Harbor in February of 2014. Just to put things in perspective, a little over a month ago there was nothing out there. We've gotten a lot of work done here in the last five to six weeks and uh, we're getting to the point now where we're wrapping up the wheel and we're going to get started with the finishes part of the project, the concrete, the loading platform. Uh, finishing our facial wall, informational kiosks, the canopies, metal siding. We went from nothing to over 150 tons of steel and then a 300 ton wheel on top of that. And the next six weeks are going to get crazier. There's a lot to do. We're just excited to get it done. We're right on track. I mean, we had some setbacks due to the weather early on. and We've been working long hours pretty much every day since the crane got here to get back on track. So, you know, things are looking good with a little bit of cooperation with Mother Nature here. I think we're, we're going to be in good shape for a May opening. I think you put a 175 foot wheel at the end of a pier and people drive over the Wilson Bridge every day. You see it coming over the bridge. You see it coming up 95. You see it leaving DC. So it's right in everybody's view. And everybody, I think, wants to know what is that and when can I ride it? On this day, the effort to attach gondolas to the wheel went smoothly, and in fact, the cars took very little time to install once they were removed from trucks and lowered into place by a Chinbro crane. The smoothness of the operation was characteristic of the entire project so far and will continue to be the goal as the team heads down the home stretch toward completion. The projects went great. We still have a lot of work to do, but hands down, everybody on this team has worked very hard and we're constantly planning every day to be able to get to the finish line. The team, including National Harbor and others, we've really worked to generate a lot of excitement for this job, as evident by the five or six news stations that were just here to put the gondolas on. So uh, that level of excitement is going to increase as we get closer to the finish line. And once everything's finished and the canopies are in and things lit up, it's going to be amazing. <laughs>